Hey, it's Scott Young here. I hope you're doing well today. And I want to show you in this video um, a product that I've been using called VidIQ. I'm going to review it here. This is really quite a massive tool that does a whole lot of different things. So we're going to kind of run through some of the basics here and we're going to run through it and see if it, this is a good tool, if it's a gem or if it's just a garbage tool. All right. So let's run through it here. Now, VidIQ, you know, it's it's different than other analytical tools. So, for example, Google Analytics gives all sorts of information and data on your YouTube videos and such, but it's not really uh, user friendly to the average non tech person. Uh, VidIQ, they've tried to create a tool here that just the average non tech person could really just kind of get into and understand it pretty much from the get go. Um, so, what we're looking at here on their main website, I've logged in here and I'm on the keywords tab right here so that we can see some of the different options that you could do with the, the keywords. Now, for me, this has been really powerful because I am not a super creative person and coming up with keywords and key phrases is a little bit difficult to think about things that are unique and long tail and such. But uh, VidIQ does a good job of doing this. Now, when you when you have a keyword, they have a scoring uh, system here, which is a lot different than the Google Keyword Planner, because Keyword Planner, of course, uh, has to do with you know all of Google and tells the competition on a word and the uh, the amount of search volume. But VidIQ is specifically focused on YouTube keywords. So when you see the competition here and the search volume, that's specific to YouTube. So it's very useful. So for example, when we come down here, uh, let's say work from home, if that was your keyword, it's getting a ton of traffic, 156,000 searches per month. But look at this, the, the competition is insanely high. It's 99.6. So the overall score is 38, which, you know, if you're a new YouTuber, you're just not going to rank for that. The competition is too high. Uh, you need to search for lower competition keywords. So, um, you know, oddly enough, if you come up here to make money online, uh, it has about twice the search volume, but the, the competition is actually not very high on this one. So it gets a score of 61, which is more doable in terms of if you make a video with that as your keyword and your title, you may actually rank, uh, you know, in, in the top there and your video might be seen. And so let's say we come down to another one here. I think this is great. Smart money tactics. Now, depending on what uh, industry you're in, this may or may not be a good keyword, but look at this. It's getting a good, good amount of views and very low competition. So you stand a good chance if you um, are making this uh, into a video. So for example, your keyword, might, your video title might be smart money tactics in affiliate marketing or smart money tactics in, and then whatever your niche is, you, you might actually get ranked on that because the competition is very low, but it's getting a good amount of searches. So I think that is a really powerful tool here for finding keywords and sorting through, you know, there's thousands of keywords you can pick from, but this helps you narrow down to some really good ones. And again, you just go into the, uh, the search here and you could search any number of things to see what the what the rank is and what the competition and the search volume. So it's very powerful. The other thing that um, that VidIQ does is on your actual videos, they give you an SEO score and they give you a checklist. So they'll give you a score like, you know, 75 out of 100. It shows how well you're doing on your search engine optimization. And then they have a checklist within that which is an optimizing checklist you could literally just go through the checklist and say oh man i haven't done that to optimize my video and you could add some tags or i haven't done this to optimize my video i need a longer uh title or something like that and so for each of your videos they help you to really maximize uh, your video and the detail, I mean, the description and the title and the tags and everything so that you can be ensured you've got the best chance of ranking for that keyword. Um, the other thing that vidIQ does is that it uh, offers suggestions for tags in your video. It takes a look at your description and your other videos, and it gives you um, some suggestions for tags, which is really great because it's hard to think of all the different tags that you might need. Now let's go over here to this other tab. This is this is cool because VidIQ is also a Chrome extension. So 
When you install this in Chrome, you get all sorts of extra data when you're on YouTube. So for example, this is a YouTube page where I just searched affiliate marketing for beginners, a good keyword. And, and check this out. Over here on the right, you see BidIQ's um, plugin is giving us the overall score for this word. It's telling us all sorts of information about the average views and the times it appears in the title, the top channels, and some other related keywords to this that might be of use. Now, the other thing that vidIQ does when you enable the inline keywords right here, it literally shows you the keywords that are used in these individual videos. So, you know, this guy here, he's got a million views on this video and you get to see the keywords that are right here in his uh, video that helped him rank up here. So this is a great area here for getting new ideas for keywords and for finding out what is really getting people to rank higher in, um, in the search results of YouTube. So it's a really, really powerful thing. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you here was back on the, uh, the homepage here. Now, for me, this was really one that was totally worth the price. I really love this feature here. It's called the Daily Ideas. And what the Daily Ideas is, they analyze your videos uh, and they make suggestions of some keywords that you should make videos about because they have an, an AI prediction model that will tell you if you make a video about this with the specific title and keywords, then you're very likely to get a lot of views and to rank high with that keyword. So every day, uh, vidIQ will give you these daily ideas. If you're on the free plan, they give you three. And on the lowest paid plan, you get 10. And then other plans, you get 50. I mean, I don't know how many videos can you make in a day. But um, so even if you had a few of these, look at this, the, the prediction is very high for all these right here that you will rank and get some good views if you make a video with this as your title. So um, I really think that that is a, a seriously good um, feature here that they they offer because so many people are just racking their brains. What should I, what should I make a video about? They have a keyword idea, but they don't even know if that's gonna be successful. They could put a lot of time into making a video and then it never ranks and they just don't know why. But here vidIQ is giving you really the very best ideas for ranking and views. So you stand much more of a chance of not wasting your time and actually making a video that's gonna be seen by people. So it's really powerful. So I, I rate uh, vidIQ as a gem because it's really helped me save a lot of time and come up with some good ideas uh, for videos that will get views and get ranked. And so I hope that it's a gem for you too. All right. Uh, give me a thumbs up down below if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep reviewing different tools like this so you can see what is working out there in the industry today. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks.